Today I'm going to show how to use Firebase hosting for multiple sites. We'll have one site for admin area and another site for public pages. And for each of those sites, we will have a separate create React app generated application. Now let's begin by generating our React applications. So first we create npx, create React app uh, public site. Okay, and now let's generate a site for admin area. npx create react app admin site. Now let's edit the sites and make sure that it's obvious that admin site is representing admin area. We will add a label admin site and same for the public pages, but it will say public pages. So first let's open admin site, src app.js, remove the layout and add h1 saying admin site. Now let's go to public site, src app.js, remove the layout and add h1 public site okay now we need to build each project let's go to admin site yarn build and now let's go to public site and do the same yarn build When you run yarn build, React outputs the bundle files into the build folder. So if you check ls uh, build, it has all the static files that you can now surf using Firebase. So let's get back to the root folder and run Firebase in it. We're going to be using hosting. I press space, select hosting. Enter, create new project, and let's call it admin public sites example. It doesn't matter what we choose in these options because we will change the settings file anyway. So you can say public. Uh, no. Now we can remove the generated public folder because we're going to be use two of our build folders instead. rm minus rf public. Now we want to edit the Firebase JSON. Here I'm setting up hosting for two sites. One target is called admin and another target is called public. I'm setting their public folders to be admin site build and public site build. These are the folders that are generated when I run yarn build with the static files of each project. Then I need to go to Firebase console, select the project we just created, select hosting, press get started, next, next, continue to the console. What we want to do here is we want to enable multiple sites. So we press add another site. The site will be call, called admin area. Now we need to link the existing sites to our targets. So admin area site name is admin area. Let's go back to the console and run Firebase target apply hosting and then the name of your target and then the name of the site in our case it's admin area now let's apply the public pages target firebase target apply hosting public 
and now the site name is admin public sites example now I can start deploying from the root of our project where we have both admin site and public site I run firebase deploy only hosting admin let's verify that it worked let's open the page and we can see that it's admin site good now let's deploy the public pages firebase deploy only hosting public deploy is complete let's check the url and we have a separate public site admin site public site two separate sites hosted by firebase application thank you for watching leave the likes below this video and press this comment button see you in the next video